Yes, people, welcome back to TS Talks Podcast. Hope you're all doing good. Um, in this one, I'm just talking about Harry Kane. Now, you know, the reports have come out that, you know, he's he's mentioned it to Spurs again that, you know, he wants to leave this summer. And truth be told, I can't knock him. Um, a lot of the reports that come out stated that, you know, he's willing to leave last summer. But, you know, the club kind of gave him the thing of, you know, maybe give us another year. Um, we've got Jose Mourinho in charge now for a full season. Um, Jose is someone with the, the you know, the record of, you know, everywhere he goes, he wins stuff. Um, it it kind of makes sense as to why the club probably suggested that, especially it was in the middle of the pandemic as well. But yeah, um, since then, um, Tottenham at a, a time earlier on in the season looked like they were capable of doing something. Um, I definitely thought so as an Arsenal fan after Spurs beat us 2-0 at... Um, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, whatever they call it, I think that's what it's called because it ain't got no sponsorship name or something. But yeah, at that place, I was thinking, oh, Tottenham are on stuff. Mourinho's on stuff. But you know, since then, it's all faded off. He got sacked, what, the week before a Carabao Cup final, which in my opinion was more to kind of deflect attention away from the whole um, um, Super League stuff. And, you know, in hindsight, maybe if Mourinho is still in charge for that Carabao Cup final, maybe maybe they sneak it and it's a piece of silverware. Not the biggest piece of silverware, but silverware, silverware. And, you know, something in the cabinet is better than nothing in the cabinet. That's just the reality of it. Um, but, yeah, um, the talk is that he doesn't want to um, leave the country. And he wants to stay in the Premier, you know, he's close to breaking the all-time Premier League goal scorer's record. Can't really um, knock him if he wants to stay in the Premier. Also, at the same time, um, you know, everything that's gone on with the pandemic and stuff, now's probably not the best time to want to be relocating to another another country. Um, it might might not be suitable. So staying, you know, within a country which, you know, you know you're comfortable with. He's a man that's played various different loan spells, so, you know, would have moved him around a bit. Um, he, I think he'll be comfortable with that and, you know, his family would be settled with that. Um, for me, I think in the Premier, there's only two teams he's going to and, you know, it's two teams from the same city. It's either going to be Manchester City or Manchester United. Um, whether either those clubs are going to be able to stump up um, the full fee um, or whether they want to stump up the full fee. Um, will be interesting. Uh, I've seen talks that, you know, City might look to get Kane and, um, you know, as part of it, it might be uh, uh, Gabriel Jesus plus money. And I've seen talks of United about Martial plus money. Again, it's about whether those players even want to go to Spurs. Um, that's one one aspect of it. Um, and also be about Daniel Levy because them man there is serious. When it comes to making money on players, them man will get everything he believe he's owed. Like, he got so much money um, for Ericsson when he had, like, six months left on his deal. And, you know, Kane's contracted to 2024. So he's definitely going to think, wow, I'm in, I'm in to make a money here. So we'll have to see. But for me, I, I can't knock Kane for wanting to leave. I remember watching them, man, um, back in 2013 when I used to do student work at Tottenham. And I was like, oh, this young player's got, this player's got potential, you know, um, he definitely surpassed the expectations I, I saw of him, you know, from working in, in North Stand Lower. Um, I, I definitely say that. Um, so, you know, if he feels it's time for him to move on, I, I, I personally have to agree. He's a man that, you know, has this recurring injury that seems to happen every season with his ankle, uh, which, you know, is probably going to cut some years of, of his career, the um the older he gets um, and you know he's at the age now where he's probably in his prime he, he needs to be winning stuff now and you know I can't knock him for it so for me I, I definitely think it's the right timing for him whether or not it's able to get done we'll see but he's a man that said he wants this all done before um, the euro so he wants this you know resolved ASAP so you know credit to him for that and, you know, we'll just have to see how it goes. So, yeah, that's it from me on this one. Um, if you're listening on, on YouTube, then, you know, definitely let me let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're not listening on YouTube, then, you know, hit me up on the Instagram, um, TS Talks underscore, you know, feel free to comment, 
message me um, topics you'd like to hear me talk on. And yeah, man, that's it from me. Peace.